Hello, quiz time tubers, and <laughs> welcome back to Blue Spoils, the episode playing Der Langrisser with me, Blue Ankylo, of course. Uh, we're on to the second uh, secret chapter, or Gaiden, or bonus, or whatever you want to call it. And as you may have learned in the first side chapter, uh, they're a little bit silly, kind of off, off the main story, not exactly canonical, or maybe sort of. This one is even less canonical, or... Uh, tied to the story than the last one. So it's just in for a bit of an easy, sort of fun adventure here. Uh, so let's get on with it. And uh, we'll have a good time one way or the other, right? Also, the music for today, we're still playing, you know, out of game music, um, which I've been definitely enjoying. I know I do enjoy the music for Der Langrisser, and I'll play, I'll, I think I will put uh, the Der Langrisser OST on for another episode maybe coming up. Uh, but while we're on a side mission, you know, whatever. Uh, we did some Secret of Mana for a few episodes. Uh, now we're on to Chrono Trigger, which again, I mean, who doesn't like Chrono Trigger music, right? I mean, come on. So we're playing o Overclock Remixes playlist on Chrono Trigger. I'm be skipping the ones with lyrics, and uh, it's another Super Nintendo RPG. You know, it's fine, right? It's fine. Quiz time! See, I spoiled it. It's quiz time. Having crossed the bridge, right? That's last episode. We did all this. The Descendants of Light discovered a mysterious cave at the foot of the bridge. Curious what the cave may contain, the companions cautiously entered the moldering interior? Moldering? Sure. It was but a few steps before they came upon the programming staff, armed to the teeth and ready to grill them on Messiah knowledge, which I believe is the studio that made Langrisser. <laughs> I think. Kanio, the master of ceremonies, Again, it's probably a Japanese name, so I'm going to mispronounce all of them. Offered the companions a special prize if they could answer all his questions correctly. Defeat Uki or die. And this probably loses a lot in translation, because I imagine that this quiz game is probably a very, like, Japanese TV-style quiz game. And, I mean, like... From a, from a Western perspective, I probably don't get the jokes. They probably don't get translated into English quite as well. Um, I was thinking it's, it's probably very difficult for the translators to get the meaning and intent across when you're really, you know, outside of a... Like, e I'm sure it's difficult even in normal storytelling in animes and JRPGs. But I think some of the quirky sort of in-jokes that you might only know if you understand the culture and the, the camp company a bit, it's going to be a bit out there. Um, and I, as far as I understand, the translators tried to keep the questions pretty true to the original Japanese questions, which means you'll never get them. So we'll just... I'll show you what you can do. Um, but uh, it's fine. Uh, we have a little indoor map, which is not good for my horses. Uh, I guess, well, there's a little bit of water we have to cross. Uh, I think it's all indoors after these steps, though, which is then bad for horses. We're finding a lot of enemy horses, some ballistas, some... Pikes, some flyers, a pretty good mix of stuff overall. Uh, but right up first is some cavalry, so we'll probably go, you know, flyer versus cavalry. Why use our own pikemen? That seems stupid. <laughs> so I'll just put uh, Keith, uh, Keith and Sherry up there. And the goal for me is to get everyone promoted on this map if I can. Oh, Lester can probably get across pretty quick because he's... Uh, Seaman. He's a seaman. It's, it's true. Um, get Leanne over here. Oh, by the way, Roga shows up. Uh, sorry, helicopters return to make my life miserable. I, I probably have mentioned it before. I live near a hospital, so every now and then the helicopters, I, they just bomb my building. It was actually good for a couple years. They did some construction and they changed like the landing... Uh, Either where the landing strip was or the directions the helicopters took on the way in and out. So they didn't fly by right above my window. But it seems they're back to it now. So sorry about that. Middle of recording. You guys maybe won't hear it if you're lucky. But it sure throws me off when it's like my sh windows are rattling and everything's shaking. Uh, we've got Hein... back here. I guess Blue's already promoted, so his 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 experience is slightly lower priority. Hein, Liana, and Blue are already promoted. So, you know, I'll still use them a bit, probably, but that's not as high a priority. I really want to get Cherry and Keith, and probably Lester. If I can get all three of them promoted, that'd be great. Oh, right, Roga. 
the helicopter disrupted me. Uh, yeah, he's here because uh, the way I understand it, no matter which route you take, uh, there's a way to get to the secret chapter. Uh, so I think the programmers, it's maybe technically a bug, but Roga is here no matter what path you take. Which, I mean, yeah, they could have slid him, could have used your current party, but whatever, we'll just ignore him. He's actually out there adventuring with Leon. Okay, let me double check equipment in case there's anything to buy. Uh, you could buy another necklace. Uh, oh, could be good. I mean, I've got two high quality armors and then two sort of long range amulets. I, I don't know if we need to buy them. Uh, amulets for magic defense, orb was doubling your MP, which again, I could be valuable, but I haven't seen a need for it yet. So we'll just leave it, it's fine. Troops. Um, right, we have these new, I haven't shown you the stats. Dragoot. So our upgraded troopers are considerably stronger and more expensive. I don't think we'll need them on this map, but um, real good. Got nothing to complain about, updated cavalry. Uh, who else got updates? Uh, Hein can recruit Ballista. Hey, look at that. It's better than elves. Now, these are technically not upgraded elves. They're not upgraded archers. This is a unique unit class with bad movement and long range, but more damage than elves. There are upgraded elves. We just don't have them yet. Um, so there's that. Uh, that's it, right? All right. Well, I'm not going to buy any Crusaders. Uh, I don't think we need the mermans. We could get some elves for Lester. Let's give him like four. I don't want to. I don't, actually don't want to spend too much money on this map. I don't think we need it. I, there's no timer on this time, so we can we can go slow and careful and save some money. Uh we'll buy berries. Say maybe four. I'll have. I'll. Th I'll think about it after I'm done the the basic four pack. Now, I could recruit some Ballista to show it off. But I think I'm going to save that for the next map. Pine's already promoted. He doesn't really need a lot of kills right now. Um, and they're pretty expensive. So Ballista, I mean, they're really... I'd say they're very useful, especially on defensive maps. But um, I'm not sure they're worth the money if it's kind of an easy map. So I'm just going to give him, like... Oh, we got lots of money. I'll, I'll just buy him three archers. And then blue. I mean, Dragoon's also pretty good, but getting pretty expensive. Let me look around one more time. So, cavalry first. Infantry don't count. Infantry don't count. Flyers. We have archers, right? So, we can counter the flyers. So far, my cavalry could kill their infantry, but it's... We can also kill soldiers with anything, so it doesn't really matter. Um, having something to kill the Ballista might not be terrible. And we don't want to send Cavalry to the right. So if Blue goes left eventually with Cavalry, I could use them to hit the Ballista. Or I could get my own Ballista to... Yeah, I don't know. The Ballista are a bit of a pain to handle. Um, we'll have a Valkyrie as always. Um, I mean, the Dragoons are pretty cool, don't get me wrong. Why don't we just get, like, two of them or something? That way we won't spend too much money. Yeah. And, I mean, I have a lot of money. I could spend it, don't get me wrong. I don't need to be cheap, but uh, I'd rather save it for, like, this map, I, well, you'll see in a second. It's not really a challenge map. Let's go. I mean, it is quiz time, right? They literally told us. This cave is strange. Do people live here? Well, there's birds. There's people. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second secret stage. Dance time. It is time for the Messiah quiz. I'll be your quiz master, Kanyo. How are you enjoying, Durlangrasser? After you are done playing, please fill out the questionnaire. Please include your impression of the stage. What in the what? What a weirdo. We couldn't spend much time on this secret stage for some reason. There might be some bugs because we built it too quickly. Uh, anyway, let me explain the rules. Challenge units. Before you enter battle, they will ask you a question. If you get it correct, you fight. 
If you make a mistake, they retreat, and you get it wrong. Winning condition, defeat Uki. If you can answer every quiz correct, we will give you a gift. Do your best. So, uh, I don't... Enemies are not super aggressive. And what? Why am I here? And I guess we just kill everybody. Uh, why do we have to fight? What a waste. I don't know. Maybe it's a good opportunity to have some fun and relax. Well, okay. We're here anyway. Let's do it. Let's go. Scenario number two. Bonus. So, yeah. Um... So Uki is the boss at the back. Once we kill him, the map is over. And in theory, if we answer all the questions right, we get a bonus. In theory. And uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, if you answer the questions wrong, they run away before you can kill them. So you don't get any experience. So there is kind of a benefit to, to doing the questions correctly. I'm going to let them uh, attack us. I'm going to... We're gonna make our little line here. And this way, uh, least chance of taking any real damage. It is uh, always a bit frustrating for me when I can't fly over everything. <laughs> I mean, we're in a cave, so I understand there's a roof on the cave. You can't just fly over everything. A wall up to the roof probably makes some sense, but I can still complain. I can still be a bit salty. If you couldn't handle a little bit of salty, Ankylo. Oddly enough, even though we're a sea unit and this is arguably water, Lester still can't move quickly through it. There's probably a way to just move up and kill all the enemies on the first turn. Like, you could probably neutralize the cavalry in a single turn if you if you want. And we'll return to... I do like the idea of turn number one summoning a Freya. Maybe we should summon a, 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 summoning a Valkyrie, typically. Maybe we'll summon a Freya this time, just so you guys can see the difference. It's even more defense thought Valkyrie was strong. Now we have 29 defense plus 10. It might be slightly lower attack, but um, still flies. Uh, more spells. Now we have a full heal. One group full heal. Maybe put enemies to sleep. Boost the attack of a team a lot and uh, possibly charm an enemy unit to work for you, although the odds are kind of low. But 25 MP. The fray is, I mean, the... <laughs> The summons are just so strong. I almost feel bad. Even the Valkyrie is, like, pretty overpowered. And then it's like, why don't we just summon something even better? Like, why not? <laughs> Alright. Let's see if they uh, do anything interesting here. I think you only get questions when you attack them. If they attack us, we don't get question time. So even if you couldn't answer the questions, you might have a way of counter-killing a whole group, maybe. And then, um... Oh, they didn't attack. And getting the experience that way, but... No, we're not gonna do it like that. We're gonna save it and... You know, get the questions wrong until we get them right, and you'll, you'll see. It's fine. Uh... Can Lester... Lester can only get to here. Well, the priority is not for Hein to get a whole bunch of experience. So if Hein opens up with a little bit of magic... I guess you could try to kill him with magic too, because I don't think you get a quiz for this. We're definitely at the point where I'm starting to like the fireballs a lot more too. Uh, we could also use, like, attack up. I'll do this six times. Crazy. Now, um, summons can't uh, rally to regain... MP, but the commander can, and they can just resummon a new Freya at full power. <laughs> so as long as Liana is just, you know, rallying over and over again, it'll take a while to charge up another 15 MP, but there's nothing stopping her from doing another one, right? Let's... So I don't actually want kills with Hein, really. The goal here is to just do a little bit of chip damage so that the uh, harpies can kill. Or the angels. What am I trying to say? 
the things, the uh, <laughs> fairies. Why do we still have fairies? Which floor is the KF building? Which floor in the KF building is Messiah on? How well do you know this Japanese company from the 1990s? I'm going to say I don't know. So if you get it wrong, they disappear. Which I'm going to say... You know. <laughs> I trust we won't be receiving any ticking boxes. from. Oh man, what a... That doesn't work anymore. Any TikTok, TikTok boxes from the delivery... <laughs> That's brutal. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. We don't want to... We don't want to go to jail. I can't believe they threw something like that in. It wouldn't wouldn't fly in the 2020s, that's for sure. At least not in North America. So we can't even really damage these things. Awesome. Yeah, three attacks, we did one damage. That's the problem with my non-boosted... You know what I mean? It's fine. All right, let's hope the fairies can do a little better. I mean, yeah. They do have, uh, I give them attack plus two, which is plus five actually. Like level two attack is actually plus five attack, which is honestly a, a, a lot. So that'll get the job done. Just get a clean sweep here in one round. Probably fine. He always seems to take more damage. I guess because he's got a defensive aura, his fairies tend to have good defense. But he doesn't get the advantage of that, so this takes a lot of counterattacks. Hmm, no kill. So, Keith, getting close to level up. Cherry, almost promoted. So, hers is basically ready to go. I'll just move her up. I'll let her do this kill. Well, we'll see. I mean, there's no guarantee this kills. I suppose Lester... He can get into range to get a couple archer boosted shots. 25 defense, maybe? Well, 25 versus 25 is not great. No. People may be... I, I, hopefully you understand. Archers are good. They just have kind of low base attack. So they are more likely to do zero damage than most units. But if we were bringing, like, infantry, they would also be doing... Like, if I brought pikemen or spearmen, they would also suck. So, it's not really just the archers. Okay, we have a decision. Our first tier 3 um, cherry option is swordsman. We've seen this before for somebody. Pretty much garbage. Or dragon knight, and we get a new troop. Angels are pretty good. I guess the swordsman's slightly more offensive focused. Plus 5 aura and more base attack. But Ah, we're going dragon knight. Uh, I think the Dragon Knight also gives us a magic attack when we attack with her as a commander, too. Just in case it wasn't good enough. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with Dragon Knights. I think if we'd taken her to the horse line, like, basically what uh, Blue is now, I believe she would have a unicorn, which is, like, custom to her, instead of a Highlander. I think. I did have a look at the uh, promotion charts before. I just... I didn't memorize them or nothing. Oh no, I ran out of water in my water bottle. Terrible. What a horrible night to be thirsty. Okay, enemies, hurry up. Okay, so she's already promoted. Keith would sure like to get promoted. I don't think this guy's gonna move, but I could be wrong. But what I'll do is move Keith 
something like here. Should be aura-wise good. And he's got four fairies only, right? I didn't spend too much money here. Maybe we can, um... Well, no, no, no. Lester, Lester, can you... I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Sherry reposition. Seeing as she's already done her promotion. And then I'm gonna try to let Lester get some XP here as well. We're at 25 attack versus 19 defense, so should be acceptable. Question! What is this game's TV catchphrase? So for this one, I guess you'd have to watch 1990s Japanese television commercials. <laughs> now, SFC, is that the uh, Super Famicom, right? Yeah, Super Famicom. Real anime, no SD gimps. I don't even know what that is. That's probably it. <laughs> Real anime. No, whatever. <laughs> Did I just give him three each? Oh no, he's got four, this one. I don't think this guy moves. So as long as we don't put anyone adjacent uh, to his spots, we have nothing to worry about. I do like how the arrows make enemies explode too. That it's a nice little touch there. You missed it. Terminal funk. Let's go. Ah, oh, come on, elves. This is a. Uh... You know, Terminal Funk by D-Dubs. Alright, Lester level 9. Almost there. Keith, almost level 9. We're doing we're doing just fine. I'm really enjoying these booties on uh, Hein. Oh boy, let's him get around fast. I think they also apply for his Ballista. So if we bring Ballista that normally can move 3 tiles, I think with the boots they can move 5, which is probably the best way to use them in my estimation. All right, let's just separate the fairies out here so it makes sense. And then, if only we could fly. Now, to be honest, if these guys attack my fairies while they're adjacent to Keith, that's fine. I don't, they're not gonna, they probably won't even do it. And to be honest, I mean, we could just attack them. Let's go for the kill. No problem. Now, for my... As far as I could tell when I tested, no matter what I did, Canio's question never worked for me. So, he was like the announcer, but every time I tried to get his quiz question, it didn't work. So let's see what we get for the Let's Play. I'm sorry, you haven't answered all the questions correctly yet. It seems you won't get the prize this time, kids. So the thing is, if we save him for last, the game just ends. As soon as you kill Uki, it's over. So the only other option I could think of was answering all the questions except Uki's and then asking Kanyo, but I seem to get the same thing to happen anyway. So I don't know. I don't really understand how it works. He didn't... It's not like we failed it. He didn't disappear. It's just... Uh, he says you got it wrong, right? Like, it's, I don't understand it. The plan was to send the uh, Dragoons on the left side anyway. Alright, looking good. See, so yeah, I'm not going to reload because I don't actually know how to get... What's-his-name's... The announcers, 
questions anyway, so we'll just ignore it. I don't think we should treat this map as a particularly tr difficult one. So let's see... Up the middle, maybe, then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make these arches a little bit better. And we'll let Leanna keep recovering, because... Honestly, this seems like a pretty good use for her uh, summon. When we're not trying to grind her, she's already halfway through her tier again, so... I'm gonna let you heal a bit. I love that long-range aura. So nice. Got to get him to level 9. He's the lowest level, technically. There we go. Good kill. Um, but then... It's kind of difficult to get attacks off with this current angle, so we're actually just going to maybe let him move up a bit. Maybe. And... Um... I want to see if I can do some damage with my promoted archers. Oh, it would be nice to stand here and shoot over. Would that be pretty good? That would have been nice. Oh, we could also, uh, if we're trying to get XP over there, we could also reach. Can't lower their defense. Attack up and defense down, I imagine, is a, probably a good combo. But at the very least, we can go boom. Yeah, two damage. Good stuff. Perfect. Hmm, journey through the darkest depths? Spooky, spooky. Right, I only brought three. So, I am slightly concerned about having these elves exposed. Maybe we can use blue to block it. It's, yeah, one... Yeah, okay, we can do it. Because it's a quiz show, I don't think the enemies are super aggressive, but they still attack you. You know, if they see an easy hit, they will, they will attack. There we go. Protect the archers. Ah, uh, this is... Oh, no, Lester does have four. Apparently, I can't count. Uh, safety save, but I don't think we'll kill. Just... Well, yeah, we are attacked up, so... If we were not attacked up, we might not have even done any damage, so... So, on the left side, uh, we're just gonna let, uh... Heine and, and, uh, Sherry handle it. They're already injured, so it's just... I, you know what? I want to show off her attack. Normal speed attack. Just regular attack. One punch. <laughs> I mean, she is on a dragon. <laughs> now do you understand why I wanted everyone to get promoted? Promotions are really good. <laughs> All right, question time. Where's Messiah's main office? I better say these out loud for the quiz. Nakamaguro Nishi... Nishi Ishi Nishi Ishinjuku Nishi Ishinjuku or <clears throat> Higashi <laughs> Higashi Shinshuku. It's probably terrible, but I tried. I'll go with the longest one. No. We'll try the middle one. Nishi Shinshuku. I Clearly, you've mastered bathroom multitasking. Uh huh. So you know, there's no way, as far as I can tell, there is absolutely no way an English speaker could ever guess these. 
Like, maybe the absolutely nerdiest anime weebo that has been following Langrisser their entire life somehow might know. But, uh, you know, I don't know how many of those people exist. Okay. Well, as you can see, our new Dragon Knight promotion with bonuses to fairies has made them really strong. And fairies are the weakest of the flying units. Um, we can summon uh, angels now the next time we deploy, and uh, they're stronger. I'll talk about them when we get there, but uh, they're, they're definitely better. Titan's only level one. How much defense has this guy got? Too much. We're not going to be able to damage him with uh, unsupported archers. This is where having... Um, Ballista might have been useful. Uh, I think unsupported Ballista, were well, they like 22 attack? He still couldn't do any damage. No, never mind. Super speed it. Oh, well, there's that. Gotta be careful with Ballista. Okay, so I didn't count out the squares, but yeah, this guy... One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just in range. And I'm glad, I'm glad that my ore is so large and the defense bonus is so high. It's only plus six, but that's still significantly better defense. That's 21 defense versus 25 attack. If it was too much lower, we would probably have lost that fairy, which, whatever. Lose my fairy. Let's see if the archers supported can do anything. Probably not. Well, 27 attack. It's 27 versus 15. They should be able to hurt him. I don't know, man. Or no, 27 versus 25. That's what I meant to say. But they still do zero damage. Like that, there's something... I'm still missing something about the attack versus defense. Obviously, more attack is better. But it's like if it's close... It does zero. <laughs> and I don't exactly understand how that works. Um, oh, oh, well. Um, probably more fun if I uh, kill it with my dragon. Goodbye! All right, we'll just let them heal up a little bit, and then we'll figure out how we're going to get through the Ballista after. Now, 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 now. So they did kind of reposition for a better kill on the Cavalry, which is what I was looking for. Theory. Maybe I should have shot him with the Archer first. That should be level up. Level up. And yeah, let's go for the kill here. 25. We're doing. Oh, we're only at 26 base attack. Dang, that's not much. Well, you know. I'm not exactly sure. Like, sleep and charm and all those things. I haven't really tested them in this game, but I'm going to assume that. Probably not very good. I think I've tried them each once on my other playthrough, and they just miss, and then I forget about them kind of thing, which is pretty standard. I'm I'm sure if they take effect, they should be quite useful. I think one of my units got put to sleep once, of course. But I don't think I've ever seen an enemy... I don't think I've ever successfully seen an enemy go to sleep. All right, I think uh, this middle group is just, it's just food for Lester. And we can speed up a little bit. I kind of like this. I know we can go slightly speedier if I turn animations off, but I kind of like this combo a little bit more myself right now where we see the cool animations. I do think the animations are nice. 
Um, but we also don't spend too much time waiting for things to move around. Like, this is, I'm pretty happy with my, my speed up plan at the moment. So probably, yeah, probably if I kill the the uh, commander here with uh, Lester, we'll get the, uh, we should get the level up. And I'm just going to leave blue here, make sure the archers don't die. That should be fine. Uh, meanwhile, Le Liana should probably move up a bit. Yeah, I might want to heal next turn, you never know. And I think that's that. Just maybe double check that, uh... Yeah, people don't move around stupidly. Okay, so the right side's a little bit behind schedule, but this is kind of easier chaff to gut through. The ballistas are a little bit more dangerous. Oh, right, and we want to get this kill. So, 28 defense is... high. I'm going to test... This is this is possibly a one-shot. And I don't want to kill. Yeah, it's definitely a shot. Dragoons! <laughs> Dang. Um, 25 attack. Yeah, that's... I think the only way we can even hurt this guy with my unit I want to use is to get them posted again. Get a lot of attack ups off of this uh, this Freya. Okay, there we go. Zero damage and then three damage. Zero, three, and then one. Maybe there's a secret where you want to be like two squares away on even ground, so it's a straight shot. Nobody's in between. No volleys. Nope. Counting on you. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Level up. Class change. Now we could. We could turn Lester into a Dragonite and have three Dragon Knights. And that would probably be better. But he, I believe he's the only unit that can do C units. So we're gonna go C. <laughs> I'm not actually sure this is a very good idea, but I think he's our only hero that can go Serpent. And this gets us Nixies, which are better, arguably, in the water uh, than our other ones. And also Ballista, which is uh, it's our second Ballista unit. So, you know. I mean, the Dragon Knight is certainly stronger, but... <laughs> yeah. I, I do like to show off multiple... To my own detriment, I like to show off uh, a wide variety of classes if possible. And I will... I will submit that two Dragon Knights is already maybe a little bit more than I should be doing. <laughs> maybe. We'll try a uh, Keith attack. It's a little bit risky. He's not super good. Until he gets to be Dragon. Ah, oh, Keith. Here's a question. Who is the bearded man in the Super Famicom game? Hashi Rhea Damashi. Damashi? I'm pretty sure it's Varen. Because I did this once long ago. Like, a few days ago. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I misremember. Well, let's uh, get the easy kill. This is a good spot, because it blocks off even the enemy flyers if they decide to charge down. Um, assuming they follow the same rules we do, they can't fly through these roof tiles. Which they do. Uh, but we should probably block... Hmm. We needed one more, uh, in one more fairy. Technically, the right side might be open.
Eh, just in case. Should be fine at 7 HP. Okay, and then Blue's crew, we're going to go to the left. And these guys are going to heal up a little bit. Get their stuff together. Get the you-know-what together. So what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six tiles. So we're safe up to here. Okay. No auto maneuvers. Eh, it's not that dangerous, but... Birds aren't attacking yet. Okay, they go for the heal. That's fine. Actually, pretty smart. I mean, um, that undid a lot of the progress we made last turn. But then we've got Lester here, who, unfortunately, <laughs> you know, he's on a he's on a sea monster. It is very strong. Like it's a serpent knight is cool, but it's not as strong as a dragon. So. We can get a we can get a little sh cheeky shot here through the wall. Now at least he can recruit elves and ballistas, so on land units or land maps he can he can still support the team decently. But um Yeah, it uh It's a bit niche. His his main strength is on water maps and I've been kind of favoring him. But I mean he does get all these elves. The elves have been doing fine, right? Like Especially within his aura of control, like, they do good damage. He's got a plus 6 attack, plus 5 defense. It's nothing crazy, but... Alright. And he does get a, a plus... That's 4 aura just on the fish, or the serpent. Uh, I could give him 2 more from the uh, amulet. That'd be pretty good. Good, good. Excellent, excellent. Let's see... Yeah, we can probably get another kill here. No problem. Well, I realize there might be one mistake. Our elves might be at risk. I think this guy would move down? Hmm. Mmm, hmm, hmm, hmm. This fairy I need to should have put somewhere else. Oh, oh. Okay, if we block this tile. Then let's see. If we attack from here. Not a great attack, but. And if Keith moves up, I don't know if he should attack, to be honest. But I think our elves will be safe. He should be okay, right? If he dies... <sighs> well... Unfortunately, I actually don't think um, Blue is going to be good at charging. I, I kind of messed up in terms of how do we charge the Ballista? Well, the problem is the units with good mobility against Ballista uh, can't move down Cobblestone because Cobblestone's... something's wrong with Cobblestone. Um, we certainly could fireball them. I actually don't know what I want to do on this side. Uh, helicopters again. They just won't leave me alone. In helicopters.
I'm probably still going to lead with blue. It's just going to be slow. But I don't think uh, the Ballista will do really any significant damage to uh, the Dragoons. So it should be fine. It's just going to take a little bit longer than uh, I would like. Birds refuse to attack. Cowards to the core. Alright, so Keith should be about to level. Uh, Lester can't really get close enough to support this round. Let's see how much damage the... This should still do some damage, right? Type advantage. Yeah, that's still pretty good. That's all I want, just a little bit of chip. All right, question time! Which of the cavalry on this stage is heavily armed? I don't know. <laughs> Why? That one over there. There's a difference between normal cavalrymen and assault suit maniacs like him. You are really something. Okay, time to finish up with a super battle. I don't even know who I was pointing at. What a weird question. Heavy armored? I don't know. I don't even know what he's asking, really. Oh, well. Don't worry about it. Just kill. Our job is not to understand it. Our, our job is just to kill. All right, and here we go. Oh, look, I guess Keith... I was lying to you guys. Keith could also go Serpent Knight. I, I didn't realize that. But why would you ever do that? Bring and drink. Sorry, guys, I lied. He's got such a big aura. I can just let him heal a bit. So what I was thinking is I wanted the archers to... Yeah, we'll still do it. I wanted the archers to stand in these fairy slots, but shouldn't matter. Alright, alright. Only two damage. Fine. But by promoting first, the fairies should get a slight stat bonus by the promotion gains. Yeah, we've done 5 damage, 2 damage, and 3 damage with archers. Still very difficult to predict. But on this side, there's no ballista to worry about, so we're a bit safer. Can fly around the side, though. Hmm. Nah, he can't. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so. I guess blue can actually go fairly quick. I was thinking he was going to be like two squares a turn across here or something, but... The movement's actually not bad. And then we'll plan to have support next turn as he charges through the... Alright, well this song... Not quite hitting it for me. Not every single remix is a win for Blue Anculo. Alright, but yeah, next turn... Uh, Dragoons hit, and then the Flyers can support. Yeah, I mean, we're doing great. This is fine. One damage, nothing. No problem. It would have been smarter or slightly more optimal if all of the Dragoons were adjacent to blue so that any damage got healed on our turn, but that's fine, right? We're just gonna... We're gonna just slaughter them. If anyone defeats Ballista, it should be heavy armored cavalry, really. Next question! Who am I? 
Oh, I just saw his name. It was Aki Tan, right? I think with an H, but I'll save just in case. Correct! Attack mode on! <laughs> Wait, does this, are you a robot? We didn't actually get a full kill there. Poor shame. I don't think we've actually done a single ranged sort of counter attack yet. So let's do that. You both fire at the same time. So you do tend to take a lot of losses because your units have bad defense. So I generally try to avoid it, but uh, yeah, you certainly can kill stuff that can shoot back. Let's uh, just make a little defensive line mostly. Save a little bit of turns by auto-piloting. Uh, so we got to kill a Harpy and a Hawk Lord and then start dealing with some Pikes. That should be fine. Poor uh, Lester back here. I take him the rest of the map to catch up. As long as we defend these archers that are all alone, they should be fine. Does give you a nice picture, I think, of uh, like the differences of having your auras and not when you've got a really slow commander, you get to suffer through it. And get two kills against harpies with an L. Yeah, it's a little, uh, a little lackluster. That was a bit better. All right, that was all of them. Uh, so we've got Dragon Knight. Could do some healing if we need to. I think we just swoop in, get an easy kill here. Laser Dragon. And uh, maybe just one of the 10 HP fairies goes for another kill. So everyone's been promoted. I don't have any specific priority for uh, leveling right now. Just, uh, you know, having a good time. Doing the quiz. Doing the quiz time. Yeah, Pike's pretty good defense. That's class. Question. It's a music question. Name this tune. Uh-oh. I, uh oh, I made a mistake. Uh, it's probably Iron Body Patch. <laughs> You're such a languisher, noob. And they disappear. Uh, Aniki. Okay, so that would have been the song from the first um, secret mission, I guess. But yeah, we didn't actually. Hmm, three damage, that's not good. Let's try to get this fairy healed up a bit. Uh... I think there's a good argument for Liana to always be rallying or moving at her max distance rather than moving like less distance and then, you know, kind of keeping up but not getting any MP. Oh, also Freya's get lasers. I didn't even show that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. Uh, we do have to keep an eye on these Ballista. They can get to here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Ah, whatever. It's not a good kill. <laughs> you have to remember that they can do that, but... I think they knew it was a bad idea anyway. Don't mess with Freya. <sighs> How's Liana's level looking? Still just five and working at it. Oh, don't forget. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I moved Lester last turn, but... When you move so slow. So we do know that these tiles sort of diagonally along here are in range of enemy um, 
Ballista. We don't really want to put weak defense Dragon Knights in the way. I don't know how much damage he would take, but just let's just avoid it. Do damage. I guess I could have attacked up or something, but... Yeah, that's better. Did the other one have, like, some sort of train? No, nope, no difference, just double damage. At least our defense is good, so we don't take much. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's in range. That's a little dangerous. A little. My fairies do have 23 defense, which they're not going to take much damage. They're never going to kill anything. <laughs> Alright. Freya will be completely invincible in aura. In the aura range, the ballistas aren't even going to bother. 39 defense. Too much. Uh, I don't even know why I bother. Wasting my time. He did do one damage. Okay. That actually is good. Now he heals. Okay, now these guys are flying. I didn't think you could walk back here, but I guess it's supposed to be maybe just lowered, but not actually sky. I thought that was... <laughs> Clearly, I was wrong. Um, I'd like to see some more fireballs. I don't know about you guys. Fireball might be my favorite spell for Heim. At least for now. pretty good not quite the kill but one thing Haim is good getting a lot more of is his uh, aura is getting a nice high attack boost so he's got a plus eight attack thanks to his class which is starting to add up 27 damage isn't bad not good enough for Akitan Now we are getting, I should check the range of, oh, we got birds and then ballista. One, two, good stand here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the Akitan tile and diagonally is slightly dangerous. I don't think the birds can mess with blue. I don't think anyone can mess with blue. Can we have flying cavalry too? Sure can. Engage flying dragoons. It's not. It just looks like they're flying. I will allow that blue is slightly more important for promotion, so I'll give the boss kill to... Uh, now that everyone's promoted already, blue gets slight priority for experience. Not a ton, but he gets a little bit extra. I think the low ground, as always, has less defense. So we could stand up here on the high ground and, well, never mind, it has 10% no matter where you go. <laughs> there should be a difference. Double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Well, I've got a couple Dragoons in range, or I've got a Dragoon in range. I just don't want to put my Fairies in range. Even if they can survive, let's be smart. Okay. Looking good. Two groups left. Heals, yeah, well. Not going to save you. Might be good that that one got lured over to try to shoot Freya, because, I mean can do to Freya. So we should kill these this turn and maybe start thinking about moving over. Um, 
Maybe just send the Frey to kill it. I don't know. Holy fuck. Don't forget Lester. He's trying. He's working. Might be a little difficult to kill these last couple pikemen just without using the fray on them, but... I think she'll be fine. Even at 8 HP, what are they gonna do? You can do nothing, that's what. Hey, hey, uh, here's a question. What's my name? Just Uki? Correct, kids. Now, kids, it's time for the feats of strength. Time for strong feet. Nice! Dragons! Gah! Now we... In theory, this... Well... Eh, it would have been better if we could kill... Hmm... Let's see what happens on the left before I put my elf in danger. No. Let's move high up. Nice and free. Let's right here should be good. If he can punch through most of the harpies, then we should be able to get to the other group, the back group, a bit safer, a bit easier. I mean, it would have been nice if he one shot him, but this is fine. Here's a question: What does it mean to be a true Aniki? Well, we already know this. I don't even need to save, right? Actually, I'm not 100%. It feels like it should be bodybuilding. That's right. You're so good. Shoot all birds. Even bird women. They might be waiting for you. Mmm, there we go. Two out of three one-shot kills. That was nice. <sighs> so... I don't want Cherry to get right in there, but if she's close enough for her aura, and if we can kill the uh, Ballista, I, I think her, her fairies will be fine. So I'll put her somewhere sort of safe. And then the goal, I would say, is... This only gets one chance, but the more damage we can do here, the better, so... Come on. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's gonna heal up a little bit, but... There'll only be one shot. I don't think it can kill anything at 4 HP. Would be nice to get this kill, because then we can kill the leader. Yeah. Should have attacked that one with this. Yeah. If this fairy had attacked, then this fairy would be at full health and could stand here, which would be better. Thirty-nine attack. We don't need blue to do it. That was a little bit close, I think, but we got him. Eek. And that means... Ah, oh, I was hoping I could make it one more tile. Looks like you might not be able to climb up either. You have to maybe go through the sides. Kind of strange. Strange map. Alright, so we didn't need to use these arch archers for anything on this side anyway. I'll move a couple up, but I think... 
I mean, you see how this is going. You know, they could actually do okay on the low end. Now that I've realized you can just walk over there. See, this looks like a bridge to me, I guess, but maybe it's supposed to be, like, up. It's level. Maybe it's just a road. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Heals. Oh, all the way up to seven. Oh, we might take a bit of damage. What's the ballista going to do? Nothing. That's right. I forgot that he could heal it, and then it could technically shoot after that. Okay, any priorities here? Yeah, might as well let the uh, Freya do something. We could try uh, something like this. We're going to miss, and then I'm going to reload because it wastes a spot to attack from, which is actually a big problem, but just in case, it might work. Okay, worked pretty good. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. What do you mean? That's a good spell. I always, I've always said sleep was strong. I told you Freya's were overpowered, right? I actually don't even know exactly what that means. I don't think they can take a turn. But I don't know if they have weakened def Doesn't look like they have any worse defense, but maybe they don't fire back while they're sleeping, which yeah, makes sense if you're sleeping. So it, it could be an incredibly powerful bo bonus we just got. Literally no counterattack, right? Like, yeah, it looks like we probably... It's pretty, pretty strong. <laughs> just put him to sleep and just fly around blasting him with lightning. Look, if the game didn't want me to fly around blasting things with lightning while they're sleeping, they shouldn't give me Freyas that can put things to sleep for basically zero cost. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, Liana could do that. Well, she'd have to charge up another one, but... It might be smart to give her the uh, plus MP, maximum MP orb, rather than the cross, but... Oh, I like the cross. We'll see if we can get Keith to level 2. Should be possible. Especially considering the boss is just sleeping. That's not very impressive. Hmm. Does that wake him up? No. Oh boy, you don't even wake up when you take damage while you're sleeping? That's... Seem very fair at all. I think I'll, uh, defense down him next turn. Maybe he'll wake up. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> It's a totally fair spell, guys. Freyas are completely balanced in every way. They can only do that, uh... What do we have? 20? 25 MP at the beginning? They can only do that, like, six times. You could literally try to charm him so that he fights his allies. Hopefully I've convinced you to use, uh... Saints? What is it? Priest? Saint? Whatever the class is called more often? Seems, uh, strong. I'm still not 100% sure if decrease... Let me just keep an eye on this. I, I don't know if it actually lowers his physical defense. 28. Not 100% sure that's working. What's this 28? Wasn't that what it always was, 28? Yeah, it never changed. I didn't do jack. Well, here's another question. What if you put attack to 
and attack one on at the same time. Does their attack go down? So 42 attack. Does it remember which buff or does it stack? Looks like it keeps the better of the two buffs. That's good. I'd be happy if it stacked as well, but... Um... Don't need any protection. Well, I mean... Give him a magic arrow. Pew, pew, pew. One damage. Ah, what do you expect? Okay. Kill him. <laughs> Good. Ah, yeah, I'm defeated. Zzz, I mean, zzz. Let's look at the result, kids. Congratulations. You got a perfect score. So, the one guy at the beginning in the middle that said, you know, you didn't answer all the questions right. I don't know if there's... Maybe that's just all you'll ever get out of him. Um... I I think maybe it was meant that he had a question for you and it just didn't get added in. They did say there might be some bugs. So. You get a banana. Now, Uki... I mean, I have watched one or two animes over the year. I believe Uki is, like, short or slang or something for, like, monkey, right? It's kind of related to that in some scenario, I think. Someone with way more Japanese... Uh, anime knowledge probably can tell you. Um, so maybe giving him the banana is a good idea. I actually don't even think you can keep it. Uki's attack is raised by one. But he does not join you. <laughs> but you can see his attack went from 25 to 26. So... I don't know what that means. <laughs> the other option is to not give him the banana. But then he says, ooh... So yummy, Uki love banana, and does the same thing, but he doesn't get an attack plus one. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's just forget about this place and get out of here. The, uh, the real treasure was the level ups we got along the way, and, uh, that's fine. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you get some more, um, you know, Command experience there, so your soldiers get stronger. That's always good. And uh, we get some money. And we started this map with, like... I don't know how much money we started it with. But we definitely made a profit, for sure. So, coming to these maps, definitely worth it. Even if the trivia game didn't quite do what you thought. I don't think we get a banana in our inventory. Not in our pocket or anything. But I will still say it was a fun little side adventure. And I hope you guys enjoyed so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for more um, Der Landgrister. And that was the last of the two um, secret chapters. So we're back on the serious mode now, and just playing the game, moving on forward. We're, we're done with the, the silly, uh, silly side stuff. No more silly. You're not allowed to laugh anymore ever again. It's all the time serious Ankylo from here on out. <laughs> see you guys.